it's Joe Tamargo from WetheadPumpRepair.com. All right, welcome to another edition of Pool Pump Repair TV. All right, we're, today we're going to be working on uh, the Waterway Executive 56 uh, Spa Pump. All right, so we're back with the Pool and Spa TV. Like we just said, this is a four horsepower Waterway Executive. And on this premium DVD, we're going to be showing you a lot of good stuff. Okay, we're going to be showing you how to remove the wet end, how to remove the seal and the impeller, how to change the capacitor, and how to change the motor bearings step by step, far away shots, up close shots. We're going to show you how to troubleshoot some problems, how to remove stubborn impellers, and all kinds of good stuff like that. All right, so the first thing you want to do is get yourself a nut driver, a couple other hand tools, which we're going to show you in a minute what you need on the pegboard, uh, and then you're going to be able to get started. Okay, so we just want to introduce in this first part right now. Uh, what I want to do is introduce a couple parts of the motor so you know what you're working on and what the parts are actually called. Okay. So here we go. This big giant like bump or whatever on top of the motor is where your capacitor is, okay? There is a capacitor under this cover, okay? This plastic part of the pump right here is called the wet end. Now, there's different parts of the pump. This whole entire unit is called the pump, but the plastic over here is called the wet end. Now, the wet end consists of three different parts. It consists of the back major seal housing, which has the dish out, uh, discharge spout attached to it. It consists of the front cover, okay, which has the uh, suction intake on it, and it also consists of the impeller, which is inside here, which when, once we start taking apart, we're going to show you what that is, okay? So if you've never worked on a pool pump before, if this is your first time, or if you've never worked on a spa pump before, and this is your first time, whether you're a homeowner or a pool guy, this is a good uh, video that's going to show you all the good stuff on the pump. That way, if I direct you later on in the DVD, or if you're watching bits of this on YouTube, you'll know what I'm referring to. Like, hey, okay, what we're going to do now is remove the wet end. You'll say, hey, okay, I know what that is. That's the plastic part. Or if I say, okay, we're going to be working on the motor now, you know that the motor is actual part here, okay? So now that I've explained to you what the wet end is, you will know that everything plastic forward is the wet end. Now, all the metal part here is what they call the motor. So inside this motor, there are two motor bearings that go bad, they start making noise, and then you have to change them. So step by step, we're going to give you, give you an up-close look on how to remove the cover plate on the wet end. So now you know what a wet end is. Like, all right, they showed me before what a wet end is, right? So you remove, we're going to be removing the cover. Then once we remove the cover, we're going to take off the impeller. Once we take off the impeller, we're going to take off the wet end, the back seal uh, housing. And then we're going to take off the through bolts here. And then we take off the front end bell. We're going to pull the motor armature out, which is a piece that spins inside. Uh, and then we're going to show you how to change the bearings. And then we're going to show you how to put it all back together. All right, so all parts are available at wetheadpumprepair.com or just by clicking the links below. If you need any help, let us know. You can use the contact forms on the website. We'd be more than happy to help you. All right, so here we go. We're going to start removing the wet end now. The first thing we're going to need is a Phillips head screwdriver. So I'm going to go to my pad board. I'm going to get a Phillips head screwdriver, and then I'm going to start removing the wet end. All right, so stay tuned for the next video, or if you're watching the premium DVD, you probably wouldn't have heard me say that. We would have already started working on that. So if you're watching this clip on YouTube for free, uh, you're going to have to go to the next video. So look for the Waterway Pumper Build School Part 2. Peace.